A woman carries a guitar case. I've been doing this my whole life. She steps inside Sea Boy's heart and soul. The music bug has been there since I came out of the womb. <laughs> I think I probably, my first cry probably had a melody to it. <laughs> Rosie Flores, 2024 National Heritage Fellow, Austin, Texas. This cat's in the doghouse. On a sofa, Rosie sings to a great cat. This cat's in the doghouse, never gonna let him out. A family photo. I was born in San Antonio in 1950. Then we moved to San Diego when I was 11. I started learning guitar when I was 16. 16 to 74 is how long I've been a musician in a band. I chose music as part of my life because it was feeding my creative side and it was something that I was passionate about. And I saw bands on TV, I saw jazz singers in black and white, you know, in the 50s. And I was just enamored watching somebody like Peggy Lee sing or Julie London, Ella Fitzgerald and I was just, wow, look at how amazing these women are that sing. And I wondered if, if I could ever do that. I started going up to L.A. and playing the Troubadour in Hollywood, which I ended up moving to L.A. because there was so many opportunities, because I went as far as I could in the San Diego area. I started hanging out in the Palomino country scene and started doing the talent contest every week. Six months later, I started winning. It was like, oh, people like what I do. I'll keep going. A photo with Glenn Glenn and Wanda Jackson. When I was starting to play at the Palomino Club, I was doing a lot of rockabilly back then and had my little white cowboy boots and my sparkly cowboy shirts. And I dressed a little more like 50s country and then a lot of fringe. And I would do, you know, songs by the Collins Kids or Elvis Presley or Janice Martin and Wanda Jackson. So they started calling me the Rockabilly Philly. And so when I, I did that album, I titled it the Rockabilly Philly. She flips through a photo album. I just wanted to play the troubadour and play in real places. I wanted to hit the big time. I wanted to be around people like John Prine and Bonnie Raitt and Linda Ronstadt, the Eagles. I wanted to be around those people. Those were professionals. So I ended up opening for a bunch of those people. I lived in Nashville, Los Angeles, and I always keep coming back to Texas. When I came back, Austin, Texas just threw its arms around me and said, welcome back. At Seaboy's Rockabilly Philly t-shirts, a handwritten song list. Through the years, I've been influenced by so many different kinds of music, from jazz to blues, rockabilly, country. I believe, though, that those genres have a thread, which are the American roots music. The different genres helped shape the kind of music that I do now. I think that's why I have different passions for different sounds, and I'm just not satisfied at being just a country artist with a twang with three chords, or just a rockabilly artist. It's great to be here at Seaboy's Heart and Soul. The heart of Austin, Texas, y'all. Paper, sad words on my mind. From tears that fall down one street. Performing live is just a real jolt for me. I connect with my audience, I look into their eyes, and I sing to them. I like to put joy in people's hearts with live music.
But the real reason that I've been there this whole time is because I'm so passionate about it and it feeds me and it makes me feel good. I like to think that my music would be carried on and that, you know, other generations would find a song that I wrote or a style that I had that influenced them and you know, much in the way that I was moved by Peggy Lee and Julie London and how I was moved by the guitar stylings of Jeff Beck. You know, these people that aren't here anymore. The childhood memories. She fist bumps a customer. Do, 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 I'd like to carry on their tradition and, and what they've started. And I would, I would love to you look down from heaven one day and say, wow, that girl sounds like me. She's doing what I used to do. I got the chills. In 2024, the National Endowment for the Arts presented Rosie Flores, the NEA National Heritage Fellowship Award, the highest form of recognition for the folk and traditional arts by the United States government. For more information, visit arts.gov slash heritage. Credits include director-producer Chelsea Hernandez.